Hi, welcome to part two of the paint pot tutorial. At the end of part one, what I had done was connected to the emulator. So if you haven't done that yet, you just want to go to connect and either connect to the emulator or if you're lucky enough to have a phone or an Android device, go ahead and connect using either the Owl Companion or the USB cable. All right. Once you've connected, your emulator should show what's in your viewer. Okay. Part two, we're going to be setting up our blocks. We're going to be programming our app. Got to love the school bells. All right, so let's start programming our app. First thing we're going to do is get our buttons to work. So we're going to start with the button red. And when we click on button red, we want to select when button red's clicked, do this. So when button red is clicked, we want it to set the drawing canvas. So we'll go to Canvas 1 here. And these go in alphabetical order. So if you, you want to use this slide. So we want to go down to where it says Set. So down at the bottom. It'll say Set Canvas 1 Paint Color 2. Set Canvas 1 Paint Color. And we're going to connect it in there. And we want it to set it to red, obviously. So we'll go to our colors and we'll get the red color. There we go. And we're going to do the same thing with the green and the blue. So I'm going to do that real quick. When the green button's clicked, I'm going to copy this here. Control C will copy. Control C like cat. And then Control V like Valentine will paste. And we, you want to click on this color. Since we're doing the green button, you want to pick a green color. And then we'll do the same setup for the button blue. When button blue is clicked, let's go ahead and select this. Control C and then Control V. And you'll want to select this green color and change it to blue. All right, so we've got our three buttons set up. And we need to set up our wipe button. So let's go to button wipe here. When button wipe is clicked, we want it to do this. We want it to clear the canvas. So under Canvas 1, it's going to be under Call. So we'll go to where it says Call. Call Canvas 1 dot clear. That will clear the canvas. So when we click the wipe button, the canvas will be cleared. All right, so we have two things left that we need to do we need to set up our canvas for when it's touched and when it is dragged. So we'll start with the go to canvas one. So when our canvas one is touched we want to have the canvas one draw a circle. So when it's touched canvas one is going to draw a circle. So we'll go to canvas one here and we'll select the call draw circle. Alright, we'll connect that. And what we need to do is fill in the values for the X, the Y, and then the R. Okay, And we do that with global variables. So in App Inventor 2 it's a little different. You have to hover your mouse on the X and you're gonna left click and drag on this button that says get X. So that will get the X value and we're going to do the same thing for the Y and then the R is going to be a number value in pixels so we're going to go to math and we'll get a value and this will be the size of the pixel so I'm going to go ahead and put it at 5 and I'll show you on my emulator so I'll select a color and then since we're setting up canvas touched when I left click or touch the canvas it creates a circle because it's drawing a circle with a radius of 5 pixels. If I put it at 10 and I go back and do it, it will double in size. And I can wipe and that will wipe it. I'm not done yet though. I want to be able to left click and drag and create um, some cool stuff. And So I'll do that here. And I'm going to move this back to 5. All right. 
so let's set up canvas dot drag so we'll go to canvas one So when canvas one is dragged here, we're going to call canvas one to draw a line. All right, so under canvas one, we're going to go down to where it says call canvas one draw line. And we need to set up the x1, y1, x2, y2. And basically what that is, is it's calculating from one x location to the current x location. So previous, x1 is your previous x location. And x2 would be the current x location. So where you start dragging and where you end up dragging. Okay. So for x1, the global variable will be previous x. So you hover your mouse till it, the screen, this little window pops up, and left click and drag on get previous x. y1, you'll go to previous y, get the get previous y global variable. And then x2 and y2 are going to be current x. So x2, get current x y2 will be current y, get current y. All right, and you want to make sure, I've seen kids in the past get these confused. x1 and y1 need to be previous x and y. x2 and y2 need to be current x and current y. Once you have those set up, those are all the blocks that we're going to do. And you should be able to click on blue and you click on green. So if you left click and drag, you should be able to draw. And then you should also be able to click on a color and draw that color. All right. So if you can do that, go ahead and show me. And I will check you off for getting done with part one and part two.